Uh, this question is related to choice under uncertainty. This question was asked by a brother on YouTube. The question is like this. Consider a lottery with three possible outcomes. $100 will be received with probability 0.1. $50 will be received with probability 0.2. And $10 will be received with probability 0.7. Okay. Uh, it means that 10% chance are that a person will win $100. 20% chance are he will win $50. And 70% chances are that he will win ten dollars we are being told to find out the expected payoff of this very lottery and second part is what would be the risk neutral person pay to play the lottery okay how much um, money he will be willing to pay to play this lottery and suppose an individual have a vnm utility function as u of y is equal to under root y where y denotes the expected wealth what would she pay to play the lottery okay let's try to solve this question so uh, first is uh, what will be the expected payoff of the lottery okay let's try to figure out so what we are being given the uh, that is hundred dollars uh, to win hundred dollars the probability is 0 0.1 uh, to win uh, 50 dollars chances are 20 percent or 0 0.2 and to win 10 dollars there are 70 percent chances that is being given now expected um, payoff of the lottery is simply given by what we call the expected value also so expected value or expected payoff of this lottery is simply the expected value of uh, this outcome that means when we multiply each outcome with its probability and sum them up sum them out we get the expected payoff or expected value of the lottery okay so we write 0 0.1 0 0.1 and we multiply it with its uh, outcome that is 100 plus we have 0 0.2 uh, into 50 uh, plus we have 0 0.7 0 0.7 into 10 okay this becomes 1 upon 10 into 100 plus 2 upon 10 into 50 plus 7 upon 10 into 10 okay so 10 10 gets cancelled 10 ones are 10 fives are 50 10 ones are 10 10 are 100 so uh, this is uh, 10 plus 2 fives are 10 plus 7 that means we have that the value to service at all so expected value or expected payoff for this lottery is simply 27 okay now uh, first we will uh, try to solve this third one okay to make things easier so we are being told suppose an individual has a vnm utility function of u of y is equal to under root y what would she pay to play the lottery okay so depending upon the utility function a person uh, a person would pay an amount equal to certain uh, what we call certainty equivalent to of the lottery to participate in a lottery okay the point that i want to make is here first we need to find out the certainty equivalent of the given lottery and that will be uh, the amount that a person will pay to play uh, uh, to play the lottery okay so how do we calculate the certainty equivalent and what is meant by certainty equivalent it is actually a guaranteed uh, level of wealth that provides the same amount of utility as the expected utility of risk okay so uh, let's try to solve this out for that what will we uh, do first of all uh, we are being given the expected utility is let us write it here we have the expected utility or i i will write here utility function for an individual is under root y okay first we need to uh, find out the expected utility of lottery and how do we calculate the expected utility of lottery simply we multiply the um, probability okay with its associated utility levels okay so we have utility of 100 plus we have 0 0.2 0 0.2 and utility of uh, 50 okay so 
utility of 50 plus uh, 0 0.7 0 0.7 uh, utility of 10 okay so this comes out to be 0 0.1 into utility of 100 minus since this is our utility function just plug the value here so we have 100 plus 0 0.2 utility of 50 means under root of 50 uh, plus uh, 0 0.7 uh, into utility of 10 means under root 10 okay i have explained this whole step what is meant by the certainty equivalent or uh, the risk towards attitude uh, in another video you can check on the playlist of this channel uh, under the name choice under under uh, uncertainty you will find okay i will not be able to explain all stuff here okay so the expected uh, utility of the lottery will be equal to if we solve this very stuff we will get uh, 4.62 okay i have i have actually solved this so expected utility of lottery is equal to 4.62 okay now what is the utility of expected payoff uh, expected value what we call so what will be the utility of expected value so what is our expected value which is 27 so just use the utility here uh, utility function 27 and we will get uh, a number of 5.19 okay so here we can see uh, a uh, utility of expected value is greater than utility or uh, expected utility of lottery expected uh, utility of lottery in this case we say a person is a risk risk okay so this utility function is for you risk averse person okay so it would have been better if i could have shown it graphically also okay so let me see if i have so i will explain it graphically also so let me first uh, solve this very question now we need to find out the certainty equivalent of this uh, problem so certainty equivalent that means so uh, let me write it here so utility of certainty equivalent okay should be equal to what we call expected utility of lottery okay and utility of certainty equivalent what is our utility function just use this that means under root of uh, c that is certainty equivalent is equal to that means uh, what is our expected utility of lottery that is 4.62 which gives us let me write it here which implies ce certainty equivalent is equal to if i transpose this under root it will become square here so we have 4.62 square and this comes out to be 21.34 okay so this is our certainty equivalent and i have told you a person uh, would pay an amount equal to certainty equivalent of the lottery to participate in this lottery so this individual if if the individual has a utility function given as a u of y is equal to under root y she will uh, pay 21.34 dollars to play the given lottery okay so we can also explain this very stuff graphically to make things uh, easier so we have let us say we have wealth here okay and we have utility on this axis okay so first uh, uh, this is our utility function and it will be concave shaped it will be like this let me use another color here okay so uh, this is like this concave shaped this is our utility function first uh, then we found uh, found out the expected value rather expected utility here so what was our expected value that was 27 so let's uh, write it here expected value of lottery 
here we have 27 i should have used another color to make the things pretty beautiful here so let me write it here like this so we have 27 here corresponding to this uh, utility of 27 dollars which we got here that was equal to 5.19 5.19 and we call this as the utility of expected value okay so on this axis we measure and this is the expected value here and what was the expected utility of lottery expected utility of lottery was so let me write it here expected utility of lottery was 4.62 and let us write it here expected utility of lottery okay here we can see utility of expected value is greater than expected utility of lottery in this case we say the person is risk averse okay and by certainty equivalent what we mean we mean uh, certainty equivalent is a guaranteed level of wealth that provides the same amount of utility as the expected utility of the risk okay so this point is the expected utility of lottery and this point here gives the same utility as this point and corresponding to this point we get our certainty equivalent number and which is uh, 21.34 so this is 21.34 this is our certainty equivalent and this is our expected value okay so certainty equivalent uh, i will say here um, a person uh, will pay an amount equal to the certainty equivalent of the lottery to participate in that very lottery okay next part was what would be the risk neutral person pay to play the lottery okay so uh, you should remember this a risk neutral person will pay an amount equal to the expected value of the lottery to play the lottery okay so for second the risk neutral person will pay an amount equal to equal to expected value or expected payoff of the lottery to play the to participate or to play play the lottery okay okay you can easily uh, uh, what you call what I want to say you can easily check it if we are being given the utility function of a utility uh, a risk a neutral person will be like this that will be equal to utility of u of y is equal to y okay this denotes the utility function of a risk neutral person and he will pay exactly uh, expected value of the lottery to play this lottery okay so actually we have three types of persons okay so we have a risk uh, averse person okay uh, who has a concave shaped utility function we have a risk loving person which has a concave uh, convex shaped utility function and we have another type of uh, person which is risk neutral which has a straight uh, line as his utility function okay depending upon the utility function a person would pay an amount equal to certainty equivalent of the lottery to participate in the lottery okay i hope i make myself clear in this video i'm not sure about uh, the results i'm really sorry for that but if there are some mistakes in this videos or i have done anything wrong here so you can always rectify my mistakes i have told you i am just a student of economics in that capacity there can happen mistakes in my videos and i will really appreciate if you can point out those very mistakes okay i 